All right, guys. Time for a little shop tour. It has been way too long since the last video that I posted on YouTube. We were getting that machine right there. That was about two years ago. So now added this one and obviously this one. And a lot's changed. This is actually a different building than we were in. This is a 30 by 60 pole barn. It's actually a 30 by a 40 by 60. So sorry about that. But either way, it's much bigger than my two car garage. So I wanted to give you guys kind of an update tour video. So we'll start over here with the Swiss lathe and we'll work our way around. So this is a Citizen L12. Got this a few months back. Really awesome machine. It allows us to make all of the hardware, the pins, the bearings, every single piece that we were buying in the past. This is the pivot screw that we're making. It's ultra low profile T8 chamfered Torx. So that's what I've been making today. Awesome to have this in house. So we're totally vertically integrated. We don't have to rely on anyone else. And we can make some really, really awesome hardware. So it's got the L12. If you didn't know, the 12 is for 12 millimeter. That's the biggest bar you can put in this. I did get an upgrade to 16 millimeter. So it'll do a 16 millimeter bar. And then uh, it's got a 12 foot bar feeder so we can load this thing down and let it run for overnight and days um, if we need to. This is the phase converter row right here. We've got an absolute ton of American rotary phase converters because we don't have three phase here. This is my Rogue Monster Rack. I just upgraded to this about a month ago. Super happy with it. This thing is sick. Uh, just went all out. Got the weight stack for back here. Got the slinger mounted. So that way it comes out in the front to the low row uh, seat. So you can do lap pull downs. You can do low rows, uh, leg curls, stuff like that. Really happy with this thing. Might change that nameplate, even though we didn't make it to an Oz machine nameplate. Got a little break table for the guys right here. And then this is the newest mill. This thing just got installed last week. So it's a Speedio W1000, essentially the newer version of an S1000. They changed the paint color a little bit, which drives me absolutely insane. This one's more of an eggshell white. This is more of a stark white. But what are you going to do? So far, all we've been using this for this week is to make the fixturing that will go on the machine. So we've been making about 50 of these blocks. These hold our blades at the right angle for grinding. So that's all this machine's been doing. This one has a touch screen, so it's a pretty big touch screen display. That's pretty awesome. And then this is the old S1000. The last video that I put on YouTube was unboxing this thing. It's ran perfectly every single day, all day, and usually into the evening uh, with no issues, no problems. We robbed one vice off of here to get it on the other one. Um, once we're all set up with both machines in full production, this one will be dedicated grinding machine for grinding the bevels. And this one will do all the titanium parts, the clips, the backspacers, and the handles. That's the plan. Uh, it may work out to where we need this one to help it, but we have the exact same tools in both machines and the same programs. So we can do that if we need to. Um, we went with Husky. We have Husky stuff everywhere in here. All these tables, adjustable height tables, these U-shaped cells for the mills, and that over there. They're actually really nice. They're super cheap, and yes, they're made in China, which I hate that, but uh, they're 
slow close drawers, very affordable. They'll fit our pallets. So these pallets that we use will actually fit in these drawers. As you can see here, they fit perfectly in there. So that's really handy to be able to store them away when you're not using them, so you don't have to look at them. Here is the sanding, buffing station, just some cheap buffers. Definitely need to get some kind of better dust collection than just the backboard we got going because it gets pretty dirty over here. Here's our three sand blasters. This one's set up with Zerblast. This one's bead blast, and that one's a, a dark aluminum oxide. Oh, almost forgot. And this is the shop dog, Angus. He's a good boy. He's new since the last video I posted. He's an old English bulldog. So the old manual mill, the first machine I bought. Uh, hard inch lathe. That thing does not get used anymore. We used to turn down all the hardware before we got the Swiss lathe. An old Boyer Schultz service grinder. The only thing we use this for is setting the locks. So we grind our blades and grind our inserts. This is a old sun and honing machine. We use it to hone out the blades if they're a little tight on the, the pivot barrel. This is the Anno station. Pretty kind of a dirty operation, but is what it is right by the sink this is our bougie coffee maker so if you guys haven't heard of uh, this brand Miele it's very expensive but totally worth it it grinds every cup put the beans back here we always keep it loaded down with Black Rifle Coffee Company beans and uh, it puts off some amazing cups of coffee so this is the bathroom so we got a little shower back there, storage for all just kinds of stuff that we don't want to look at on a daily basis. These are our assembly benches, so each one of us has our own table. There is four of us now, which definitely is different than the last video. I think it was just me at the time. We recently got these Viper chairs, which are very well made. Highly recommend them if you guys are looking for an awesome stool. Got the logo embroidered on them. This is my sharpening setup. It's an AMK sharpener. Works really well. Pretty quick about getting a blade from a blunt edge to hair popping. Safe for keeping the finished knives. This is kind of where we prep all the stuff so you see Kale's been going through and doing some bronze anodizing these are going to be a joker theme I think these are going to be green and purple if I remember right and then this is uh, some of the hardware that I've made on the Swiss lathe so you can see let's see if I can get this to focus Really, really nice screws. And we don't have to modify them. So that was the big thing. We wanted to be able to make everything in house, but also like these little short 256 lock insert screws. We were buying these and then modifying each one. So I'll take you into the dirty room. So don't, do don't judge on this. This is a uh, work in progress. We're gonna get this Rota bin out of here anybody's looking for one <laughs> gonna be selling that um and getting the welder and stuff out here and usually these three trash cans are not in here they're out back but we had to move them in we have a guy out back working so this is our Royson uh, disc style tumbler so if you don't know how these work there's a disc in the bottom it spins around and throws this media up against the wall um, and it works, works awesome. I wouldn't, I would say if you guys are in the market, don't buy one from this company. 
but buy one of these style uh, tumblers. They're awesome. When you when you need to uh, find your parts, you just dump it out. You can put different size uh, grates in there, sort out. Media just pours right out, so. Really convenient way to load and unload parts. That machine used to take seven hours to do what this one will do with our blades in 45 minutes. So it's been a huge time saver. Awesome thing to buy. This is the old air compressor we we're running. It's an Ingersoll T30. This thing is like a 1980 model, but it's working and we have a new one on the way. And we're just going to use this as a backup because this is for sure the weakest link in the shop. And it makes me nervous. So back here, we've got a shelf, just a wire rack shelf, mostly holding just odds and ends, blanks that need cut. These are gonna be scales, or <laughs> these are gonna be clips, sorry. These are gonna be scales over here. So these are all water jet, backspacers. These parts down here, these are, this is all actually scrap parts. Uh, as you can see, we're, we've got our fair share of scrap. These are all blades. Crazy. I might make some kind of art project out of that at some point. I'm bored. It's my desk. Probably in the loudest part of the shop, right behind these two mills, but fits nicely back here against this wall. And then we're back around to the squat rack. That's the shop, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's taking me two years to make an update video or post anything on YouTube. Kind of is what it is. I've been very busy, but I do feel horrible about it because a lot's changed and I didn't document any of that process, but. Hopefully I can stay up on these and uh, keep you guys entertained a little bit. So thanks for everything you guys do for our business, supporting us. It means the world to us and we couldn't do any of this without you. Um, and that's it. Have a good one.